was in the Navy, right? But all he did was cook in a Navy ship. That's it. And they threw him out of the ship because they didn't want him in there. So at the end of it, this guy has the balls to go on my feet and try talking shit about me. And I'm like, dude, uh, your stepdaughter was getting her butt beat by another guy. And he would lock her outside. She had a stroke. And he would not take her to the hospital. He was, she told me all these abusive stories about how bad this guy was like beating her butt. He never came to help her one time. I'm like, dude, so you're getting your butt kicked by another guy and your stepdad, nobody came to help you at all? No, I had to come here and chase the dude away, not him. He didn't do nothing to help that woman, did nothing to, to save her or anything like that. Not only that, this dude said that he was going to buy a house, right? That we could go move in and that we're going to go and have to buy a house, right? And he says, listen, I'm going to buy this house. You and Leanne can move in, help us pay the mortgage. And when we move out, we're going to give you the house. You and Leanne can have the house, right? And I said, oh, okay, that's cool. So you're going to help us basically get a new house. He says, yeah, yeah, he's going to do this. So, bro, we get a bed and breakfast. I uh, No, an Airbnb. In the wa face in the water, a beautiful Airbnb. It literally costs me 2000 a month just being by myself. She had her mom, her dad, four dogs, and two of the dogs she had was pregnant and about to give birth to babies. Well, she got evicted out of her condo because they didn't or they didn't want to renew the lease to them. They said, no, we want you out. You don't pay on time. You need to go. Well, they said they were going to buy it. They were going to fix their credit and they just had to fix a few things in their credit. So I said, OK, fix a few things in your credit and, and that's fine. Right. You know, and we'll, we'll do it. So they said it's going to take a couple months, one, two months at the most. We stayed at this thing for almost four months, bro, okay? So, and then I'm like, all right, what's going on? Are you guys fixing your credit? They said, oh, no, we're not going to get it done on time. Let's go find a place so we could all move in together. Let's just find a nice place. We'll rent it for right now. And two, they fixed their credit stuff up. So I said, well, it took four months, and you haven't done it yet. And I've been spending $2,000 a month just by myself when you guys all are family, and I'm... I just met you guys. I've not met you guys, but I just basically, it's just me. I, why am I even paid 2000 a month to stay there? And I did it for four months. Check this shit out, bro. Just after that, we go to go find a place. We put our name on the lease. We're trying to get into this place. It's a beautiful place. They're like, yeah, you know, they talk to us. We literally gave them deposit in their hand, in their hand. And the next day they gave it back. And they said, sorry, we do we not rent to you guys. And not to me and Leanne. They said it wouldn't rent to her parents. They said, we'll rent to the younger couple, but we would not, we don't want to rent to y'all too. So I was wondering what's going on. So we went to another few more places, right? These few more places that I went to, bro, nobody would accept us nobody was accepting us at all they said no 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 it turns out that her credit is so damn bad that nobody so they would had eviction after eviction so nobody wanted them on there so i'm like look listen i'm not gonna keep paying for hotels like this and paying all this money you're freaking cleaning out my account and all the shit when it's just me i'm not paying two thousand a month to stay in this airbnb no more so we go to a hotel we're staying in a hotel bro Nobody will run. I said, listen, we're going to have to get our own apartment because I am not going to wait for your parents no more. We cannot wait. We can, I'm not going to. I'm throwing money away in hotel fees. Like, this needs to stop. We need to just get our apartment. Dude, this girl gets an apartment and finds the worst apartment in town. And then she pays the deposit four times. So it takes all our money and they won't give it back. They will just take it in as a move-in thing. And I'm like... Dude, are you kidding me? So, oh my God, it was the worst thing in my life. But to think that this person has the balls to get on my feet and talk crap about me, but you work at Winn-Dixie cutting me and you can't even find a, a place to rent. And you told me you were gonna buy a house. You totally fooled the crap out of us and fooled the crap out of me. And I wasted thousands and thousands of dollars for nothing. 